Howdy. This is another Pinot production produced, directed, videographed, and photographed by my daughter, who's my agent, Michelle Pinot. Okay, you want to see the Shania Twain show at, at Madison Square Garden. So what I'm going to do is all the songs she sang, uh, I'm going to make into a story. But first of all, I couldn't bring this to my, my club yesterday. My horse was a little horse, H-O-A-R-S-E. You get the joke? My horse was a little horse. He was going, <sighs> but tonight he's better, so he's going, Whatever the heck I'm doing. I'm going crazy. Okay. That was a pretty bad joke. Anyway, uh, okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to ring a bell when it comes to the songs that, that she sang, okay? The day of the Shania Twain concert, I thought, I'm waking up dreaming. I got out of bed and said, giddy up. My daughters, Jenny, Teresa, Michelle, and myself, we were going to see the number one female Western singer. The show was at the Madison Square Garden. This wasn't a party for two. I said to myself, don't be stupid. 35,000 vans came to see Rock This Country. When the curtains opened, all our faces knew from the moment, from this moment, we would remember the show forever and always. Shania, you're still the one. And she's not just a pretty face. Some performers, when they sing, that don't impress me much. When you come home, you might tell your partner, hey, honey, I'm home. But if you think something is suspicious, you might ask, whose bed have your boots been under? Any man of mine, if you're gonna, if you're not in there for love, I'm out of here. That's the ring a bell too. Page two of my novel. Shania is certainly must have thought to the audience, I'm gonna get you good. I will always love you. There's one song I was missing. Oh, I was messing up the words. I kept saying, what you going to do without hair? What you going to do without hair? And I found out it's what you're going to do without air. With that air. Oh, with that air. And then she was talking about the air you breathe, because in the song it's breathing. And they have the words breathing in there. Okay, I guess it's time for a hearing aid. Well, okay, now. I ha Michelle brought me this hat. All the audience, people had it on, and I was going crazy. So Michelle bought it for me. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Also, my friend Pat had to tell my daughter Teresa that there was a boot barn in Bohemia, I believe it is. So I walk in. Oh, I had to buy my belt. Everybody needs a silver belt. Pretty Look at that. It's beautiful. And then I had to buy this beautiful jacket or coat or whatever, the, whatever it is. You see, it's even got the things in the back. That I had to buy. Teresa bought one in brown, but I like the white one. Okay, so um, that was it. So that, thank you, Pat, for making me spend money. And Michelle's my enabler, and she let me do it. Okay, so uh, God bless all our essential workers, first responders, hospital staff, um, those serving our country, and God bless all of you, each and every one. And I just have to show you... Uh, there, uh, a nurse in the hospital when I was in Momentum, she bought me this Western doll because I had come dressed up as a cowboy, a girl, whatever I am. Okay, so thank you and everybody have a good night. God bless you.